Well, greetings YouTube, this is Call Dude Claim here once again. And I've just got four words for you. I hate driver detective. Now I'm trying to download some drivers for my other computer. And as you can see here, I've put up a search and there's... It looks like there's loads of places where you can get the drivers from. So let's go to this page right here. Okay, this looks good. You can see. It looks good. This looks like where I can get those drivers for the, for my other computer so I can um, access the web with it. But let's just scroll down if, for a little bit. See this? Driver detective. I don't want this driver detective. Do you know what this thing does? When you install it on your computer, it goes online to find the drivers for the um, parts you have on your computer. You know, for the graphics, sound card and everything else. But this thing is... <laughs> for one thing, you have to pay for this thing to actually get it to download something. And anyway, what I want to get is a LAN, Ethernet LAN driver for the computer. It's a driver detective. If I install it, it's going to have to download those drivers from the internet. And it's not going to be able to do that because it doesn't have any internet access. You know, it doesn't have the um, internet access to begin with. So, you know, it's a vicious circle with this thing. And let's go to another um, thing. Let's say this one right here. This is another thing for driver detective. Automatically install and update all missing drivers. So let's see what it is. Yep, it's driver detective. I don't want this stupid driver detective. I want the drivers for my computer so I can actually access the internet. I'm not going to be able to use driver detective because it doesn't have the drivers on it to access the internet anyway, so there's no way it's going to be able to even download the drivers. I know I've already said that before, but I just have rant on about it. See, another thing for stupid driver detective. Let's see what this does. It's probably be the first result that actually has the drivers on it. Oh, this looks good. I'm just scrolling down. Probably another driver detective download. Actually, I think this is a ROM download. I don't need that. Do you know why I need the drivers for the other computer? Well, I'll show you. Let's just go onto YouTube right now. Alright, okay, so I'm now on the um, file upload bit for YouTube. Now I'm going to try to upload a video to show you that my computer has gone absolutely crazy which is why I'm trying to find the drivers for the other computer so I can up upload a video. Now, this video I've made right here, homemade Comptar speakers, it's actually homemade computer speakers. This is a video that I have done. Now look at this progress bar, it's going way faster than it should be going. This is not how much it's actually downloading. There's something wrong with my computer, which is why I'm trying to install the internet on the other computer so I can actually upload videos again. See, it says uploading right there. We just go back to um, so you can see the actual progress, you know, thing here. See, now it gets all the way to where it says, you know, that it's uploaded, and then it says um, doesn't get any further. So I don't know what the hell has gone wrong with my computer. I've tried this with Internet Explorer, I've tried this with Google Chrome, I've tried this with uh, you know, a separate uploader to YouTube, they're all giving me the same result. And now, if I try to access the web anymore, let's just open up another Firefox browser. 
You see there, it's constantly loading. It's actually lost my internet connection now. There's absolutely nothing... You know, so it's... Uh, I just... I think I'm gonna just have to reinstall Windows to get this to work again. Now I don't want to do that because this particular Windows is on my C drive where the boot ini file is. And I have dual boot on this computer. And if I reinstall Windows, it's going to overwrite that boot any file, and I'm not going to be able to choose which operating system I want to boot anymore. I'd have to rewrite the boot file myself, and I don't want to do that, because one simple screw up and the whole computer's as good as dead, you know what I mean? Anyway, i stopped stop that now, because obviously it's not going to be able to load. It's just going to give me an error message if I keep on going. See, it still looks like it's uploading, but obviously by now you know it isn't, so I'll just cancel that now. So I'll end up with saying what I said at the beginning of this video, I hate Driver Detective. I hate it! And until next time, goodbye.